Hello everyone, BJ Emanuel here from Abstracts Graphics. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time, please I want you to consider subscribing to my channel as it really helps build the channel. Um, well, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for sticking with me. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this wonderful and um, nice logo intro design on KindMaster. It's very easy and it's going to be fun to do, all right? So stick with me and let's get into this tutorial for today. Okay, guys, so when once you open your Kind Master, you want to add a black background. So you go to your background, just add a black background like that, like so. Now it's the intro is not going to be more than six seconds or so. So um, you can just let's just say seven. All right. So I'll cut from here. Okay. So now you go into your folder and then grab your logo or whatever you want to use as a layer now, not as a clip but as a layer all right so grab the layer and um, yeah I think I have what I want to use here so I'm going to use this guy here this Gloria head concert so for you it might be anything all right your logo but make sure it doesn't have a background all right if it has a background uh, maybe a black background if it has a black background then you come here and then you click on blending and then you screen so if you click on screen it's like that so um so make sure it doesn't have a background it's preferable not to have any background okay so that's that now this is the first step so you get that and then you size it up the way you want it okay so i think i'm okay with this and then i'll go into my folder again my cinematic folder um the link is in the description below guys so you can just download all these materials from there so you want to grab this uh, one and then you are going to now need to blend it you know, uh, multiply you blend with the multiply not the screen now but the multiply okay so you blend with the multiply and um, now what you need to do now is you want to grab your keyframe all right so uh, from the start it's going to start from here and then as it ends around here you're going to drag it like so okay no it shouldn't yeah like so all right, let me stretch it a little bit yeah so it's okay like so okay so if you give it a play you should have something like that okay so now the next thing you want to do is you are going to grab uh, a black no don't grab a black first you can get any color first so you can see what you are doing all right so put it there centralize it and then now go to crop and then increase the feather okay so just increase the feather a little bit like that like so and then in, now increase it in size just make sure it covers everything okay yeah, I think the feather is too much. Let me reduce the feather. Yeah, I think 17 is okay. Okay, so now you want to grab your keyframe now. Keyframe. Keyframe. And then at this point, I'd say one second one second and see five frames or so 
you want to drag it there okay so you have something like so yeah nice then you want to change the color now now you can change the color to say black yeah so you, we don't see what's going on so that that looks nice now the next thing you want to grab now is that um, effect this guy here so yeah now you are going to blend it now we are going to use our screen blending mode okay so increase it and then yeah place it right there so if you give it a play now you have something like this now i think our uh that's this one here is too fast so we are going to see what we can do about that so i'll cancel this and then yeah like so so i'll drag it here now so it goes with that if that our uh, new effect that revealing effect so if you give it a play now yeah you should have something like that and that looks pretty good to me right the next thing you want to grab now is the floor all this is in the um, folder guys all right so i'll grab the floor now and then i'll blend it again for those of you that are smart you should by now know exactly what blending does okay so yeah blend it and then stretch it like that like so and then you give it a play you have something like this okay so now if you check you will discover that the color of the floor is different from the color of uh, um, all the rest of the items the elements there so you can just adjust that let's start with the effect there so you come to um, adjustment and then you want to change the temperature shift the temperature back a little bit yeah so somewhere around there okay so you can hue you can play around with your hue and your saturation to make sure that it blends i will adjust the vibrance a little bit and then the brightness a little yeah then the texture and the saturation i'll increase a little bit so just adjust it until it becomes it looks the same like um, the floor over there all right and um yes i'll do the same thing with my text my or your logo in your own case so i'll adjust the temperature a bit and then i'll play around with the hue so guys all you need to do is just play around with all the settings until you get what you are looking for and then you can just continue okay so uh, let's give it a play now yeah that looks pretty cool now the next thing you want to do now is go into that same folder and you are going to grab um, this guy yeah that guy right there so put it there and then you can adjust it same way as we did the previous one okay so adjustment Increase vibrance, temperature to the left, and um, yeah, we're good. Let's see, yeah, we are good to go, right? So now, what you need to do to it now is just, you know, um, fade it, fade it in, so it comes gradually like that. Yeah, okay, so. Um, and then last but not the least or second to last if I may say is the particles so I'll adjust the, the particles a little bit to this side okay so and then what we need to do now is to blend it get right the blend screen and voila 
so I'll stretch it to fill the screen like so. Yeah. Awesome. So if you give it a play now, you should have something like so. Now you see we have those particles there. Now for the particles, you can do the same thing and just adjust the color a little bit. Yeah. Make sure you drag it to where you can see those dots and these dots here. Okay. So you can see what, what exactly you are doing. Just hue to this side, temperature to the other side, and we are done. Okay, so if you give it a play, you should have something like this. And your logo animation or your logo intro is ready. Now, the last thing you need to add is your sound. Okay, so just go to um, music uh, where is mine i think it's in the folders cinematic logo reveal i think it's this one then give it a play all you need to do now is just adjust drag them drag like so, drag like so, uh, drag like so, just drag them so, uh, as long as it's not a video, you can just stretch it, like so, and I think we're done, so give it a play. So, okay, um, the floor is disappearing. We don't want the floor to disappear, so you can um, leave it at this point. So you can just trim your clip to this point, and you should be okay. So give it a play. Awesome. So that's it, guys. This is how I created that nice. You can just give it a, a nice touch here and there to make sure it um, all blends well and comes out nice. Okay, so um, can drag this to the top a little bit. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.